take a look at that. Hello, welcome to a brand new episode of The Chubby Chef. It's been about two months since my last video. The last two months have been pretty crazy around here. Uh, my mom took a fall, injured herself pretty badly at surgery, so she's been getting better. She's on the road to recovery every day, a little bit better, so we're uh, thankful for that. But it has made uh, making videos a little bit tough. Um, but here we are, I'm ready to uh, begin. One of the things for the new year that I've decided to do is to expand my culinary abilities, in particular in vegetables, because in my house we only ever really eat beef, pork, chicken. Beef, pork, chicken. Beef, pork, chicken. I can do a lot of things with beef and with pork and with chicken, different ways of cooking it, different ways of serving it, uh, different techniques, different flavors, and that's great, but it's still just beef, pork, chicken. No one else in my family will eat shellfish. They won't eat lamb. They won't eat duck. They won't eat anything cute or anything ugly, as they like to joke really limits my ability. So what I've decided, vegetables. We're going vegetarian. And I'm not talking about a side dish, I'm talking about a full meal. In this spaghetti squash, we're gonna stuff it with a whole bunch of good stuff. This is what we're gonna be showing you today. Another reason to go vegetarian, one night a week, two nights a week. I'm not saying you have to give up meat altogether, but if you can do one night a week, two nights a week, you're going to expand flavors in a whole new way you may never have thought of. I'm going to try to do one a week. And it's better for the environment. Cows and pork and even, you know, chicken farms, dairy farms, all of these things are of a huge environmental impact. A lot of methane produced from their farts, let's be real, uh, but also the amount of water and of feed that it takes to get one cow into a healthy weight for slaughter far exceeds the amount of meat that you get. So really, uh, you know, this is the way that the whole world should be transitioning. We're going to take it one step at a time. So, stuffed spaghetti squash. This is how we're going to start. First, we're going to cut our spaghetti squash in half. So let's get started on that. You're going to cut it lengthwise in half all the way across. Spaghetti squash is very tough. That's why it's a winter fruit because the rind or the skin is, well, a lot tougher than I realized. So we're going to start with the pilot hole. Careful with your fingers. That's something that I'm notoriously bad for forgetting about. Almost like a hammer. There we go. So, I don't know if you remember the last time I did squash it was an acorn squash and I showed you that there were only seeds in the bulb. Well, in this case, there's seeds like a pumpkin the whole way. So we're gonna, we're gonna scrape this out and just like a pumpkin, you can roast the seed, just like the other squash, you can roast the seeds. Uh, I may do that this time, I don't know, but if I do, I'll do it later. So let's, uh, let's get started. So I'm using an ice cream scooper. You can use a spoon. I wouldn't recommend a fork or a knife because you're not gonna be able to really get the, the scooping action that you're looking for. Seeds are a great snack. You roast them slow and low for a long time. Like the minimum temperature your oven can go, 170, 200 for eight hours. That'll give you a nice roast on your pumpkin seeds and a little bit of you know, a little bit of oil and salt, not too much. You know, trying to keep it a healthy snack. If you're gonna add a ton of salt, you may as well just have chips. Last little bit right here. Okay, so that's clean. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to take this onto a cookie sheet. Uh, on the cookie sheet, we're gonna place it a little bit of oil inside. And place it down, bake it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes at uh, 375. So I'm going to put that in the oven now. Uh, while we're waiting for that to cook, I'm going to start chopping up uh, a red onion and a zucchini because that's going to be part of the stuffing. Okay, so to cut an onion, uh, you've seen me do it, I'm sure, but uh, you really, there is a technique to it to get it into a dice. You cut off the uh, fluffy end, you leave the root ball, okay? Then I'm going to cut it in half. At the root ball like that. From there it's going to be a lot easier to peel off the skin and then you're going to cut all along like that not all the way to the end not all the way to the root bulb. You want the root bulb to be holding this together because that's what we're looking for that type of consistency in the dice. Now the recipe called for only uh, one small red onion. I had a big one, so I'm only using half. I'll save this other half for something else. Zucchini is pretty simple. Cut off the ends. 
and I cut it along the length once and then twice to quarter them. You want them about half an inch to three quarters of an inch mm. thick. Now the recipe calls for about a cup. This is a pretty small zucchini so if it's a little bit more than a cup it's fine. Uh, I know it looks like a cucumber but it's a zucchini. Okay we're done roasting our squash. You can see all the steam coming up there. It's very hot to handle but one of the things we need to do is scrape it out. You are literally just going to scrape it just like that. And why it's called spaghetti squash is because all of this looks like little spaghetti strands. You're going to go all the way to the edge. You're going to hollow this whole thing out. So the only thing left when we're done is just the shell, which is what we're going to stuff. Okay. So here we have all of our spaghetti squash. These have been nice and hollowed out. Now, I said earlier I was cutting up a zucchini. I don't have a zucchini. I accidentally bought a cucumber. So, not a big deal. The great thing about a vegetarian dish is that you can substitute. So I've got here some frozen um, peppers, orange bell peppers that I froze. Even though they're frozen, you can still cut them pretty easily. You want to get them not too small, not too big. Again, these, like all vegetables, because of the moisture, when you cook them, they are going to shrink. And then this is going to go into a frying pan with a tablespoon to two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're going to saute those up until they're soft. It's going to take about five minutes or so. Because um, these are frozen, these will defrost really quickly. You can see we're using a nice deep pan. Uh, and we're adding in our oil. Slow drizzle, so that's about a tablespoon, uh, a tablespoon and a half. We're going to heat that up until the oil starts to glisten, and then we're going to pour in our uh, onions and peppers. And then we're going to add the beans and the spaghetti squash uh, innards that we just did. We're going to get all, all heated up, and we're going to stuff the uh, shells. So we're on a medium high heat, then we're going to add a can of black beans, uh, that's the meat replacement, uh, it's a lot of protein, very good for you, and then we're going to add the spaghetti squash. So while that's sautéing, we can start getting ready with our uh, garnishes. Uh, garnishes are going to be some shredded cheese, some salsa, some sour cream, and some avocado. That's the Tex-Mex part, and I'm going to serve it with tortilla chips. So you can dip into it or use a fork, whatever you want, but it's going to you know, make a little bit of fun, almost like a, a meal dip. All right, so we got some sharp cheddar cheese here. Yeah, it looks like enough. Next, get an avocado, which I bought when I bought my cucumber zucchini. At least I know this is an avocado. I don't know if you ever cut an avocado, you basically cut it all the way around. Twist. And now you're gonna have to take, you have a little seed, just hit it with your knife twist and it'll come right off and for that uh, depending on what you're doing here uh, I'm going to be scoring it before I take it out because that's going to give me the slices I want so I'm just going to make little lines in there like that if you're going to be doing guacamole or or something else that it doesn't matter if it's like in a nice little avocado shape and you just scoop it up with a spoon but I'm going to make it into slices this is a little bit soft. If you had a firmer one, you could take it all in one shot and then slice it. But this is too soft really to do that with. So I'm going to do it my way. One slice. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Maybe it'll come out all at once. And that'd be something. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Beauty. See, it is soft. You can tell. But I have individual little slices which you can see there do that the other side now take out the first slice first take the second one and then do the whole thing be gentle work your way around it and it will all pull out together we're now ready to add the beans to this 
give that a good mix. And I do have to add some seasoning now. So some cumin, some garlic powder, and uh, some black pepper. All right, so let's get it. Add about three quarters of a teaspoon of cumin. We're gonna add three quarters of a teaspoon of chili powder. Not cayenne, I've made that mistake before. Cayenne is much stronger. And about half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, okay? And then we're gonna add salt and pepper to taste. So basically, how much you want, whatever tastes good to you. Don't want it too salty. Mm. And the black beans really add to that uh, Mexican uh, flavor, which is what I'm going for. While that's all I'm doing that, because we're going to be eating soon, I'm going to turn the oven on to broil, because we're going to broil the top of it. And then I've got the pepper. I'll put that. Okay. So now that that's heated, in goes our spaghetti squash. that all mixed together. Now, I didn't use all of it because it's gonna be a little bit too much. But here's a good bit of it. Folding it in. So let's get that nice and hot. And then we're gonna stuff the, the skin. Fill this up. Now, you would think that this would be one serving, but this I'm gonna actually cut in half like that and make it into four servings because it's quite a lot in here. Okay, then we're gonna to top it with some of our cheese that we grated. I'm gonna go into just back into the oven under the broiler for about, I don't know, one or two minutes. And then we're gonna to top it with the avocado, the salsa, the salcum. Take a look at that. So this is, now, our stuffed squash, we got it in half. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Ooh, there we go. One serving. That's a second serving. And I'm gonna cut this in half as well. I think I'd learn. Ah. Skin is very tough. Ah. Serving number three. And we got some that fell off here. I'm just gonna put that right back on to serving number three. That's for mine, for dad's. And now to top it with some avocado. there. Wait, it gets a little bit. Followed by some Kirkland organic salsa. And then finally, a spoonful of sour cream. Yeah, and then supper is ready. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we just uh, finished. We ate. That's the last one left. It was excellent. I'm definitely going to make this again. It was very, very tasty. It was uh, just filling enough without being uh, overly filling. Um, and, you know, I'm going to the gym in a few minutes, so I really didn't want something too heavy in my stomach. So, um, anyways, make again. Thank you, Jeff Rock, for that suggestion uh, from Facebook. Uh, I'm going to look at all of your other suggestions as well, guys, but that was the first one that caught my eye, so thanks, Jeff, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye.